Well, greetings from Wisconsin once again. And now I'm just west of Darlington, north of Schulzburg. And this is a little town here that is called Wardsville. Well, I'm sure it was a bustling town back in the day, but as you can see right over there is the old school there. Of course, somebody lives there now. Right across the way is the old Wardsville Methodist Church there. And this here is the Wardsville Cemetery. As you can see, there's still a few houses, so I really wouldn't consider Wardsville to be a ghost town. There's still a few people that live here. But it's just a few things of what's left of the town. It's just I saw a road that said Wardsville Road, and of course it led me over to here. Eh, this person died January 16th of 1881. So you can see this town pretty much existed in like the late 1800s, early 1900s or so. Or possibly before then. So you can see you got a lot of these windmills around here. Got them solar windmills. Trebian, William, 1864-1925. His wife, Mary, 1869-1929. Carl H. Trebian, 1894-1936. I mean, I would get a closer look at the, the old church over there, but... Uh, I don't know. I'm just afraid it's private property. I'm just afraid I'd get yelled at, but I just know the cemetery. I'm allowed to be here. Schley, Henry Schley, 1836, 1925. Marry his wife, 1838 to 1911. Heinrich, uh, looks like he died in 1904, looks like. I have a name I really can't pronounce. Huh. John Schnick, born on December 14th of 1841, died January 30th, 1897. Probably a lot of other graves here, but I don't know, maybe they're unmarked or whatever. James Rawl died November 12th of 1881. Mary, wife of James Rawl, died January 19th of 1878. Person died in 1873. Person died, I think, says here 1874, I think. I really can't read it. Um, yeah. That tombstone's covered totally in moss. Okay. This person here, born November 22nd of 1870. Um, I think it's 18. 70 there. 
died December 5th of 1872. I think this is a little boy here. That's weird here. Like with this stone here. Right behind there's another stone. Uh, can't really read it. Uh, the stone here is, I don't know, like 1871 or so. But this stone, I don't know. So I think it was probably the early 1870s is when the cemetery, I mean, there might be burials that are earlier than that in the cemetery that are not marked. Uh, there's where a stone was. But just like what I said, I'm sure this, this town was bustling in like the late 1800s, early 1900s. And I think the last person to be buried in the cemetery, as far as I know, was like in like the 1930s, so maybe it was like in the 30s or something when this town died out. Wardsville. But this is basically all there is to Wardsville. There's like a few houses there, and then there's, a, there's an old schoolhouse right over there, and there's the old church right there. And plus, I think just up the road that way, it kind of looks like where there was a newer school at or something. But, yeah, we'll probably just hop in the truck and I'll take his up there. So. But, yeah, there really isn't too much to see here. With this old town, I mean. And, of course, there are still people that, that live here. But mainly I'm just showing the cemetery. Okay, there we go. Now we got her. One last look at the old church there. And somewhere up this way. Oh yeah, there it is, right there. Right there. I think that was probably the newer school there, I think. The way it looks like. I'm not sure how long that stayed open until probably about the 70s or so, I don't know. I think it was probably a country school for a while, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, that's my video. Sign off.